and welcome back. We are now um, in Grace's Kitchen with Miss Sharon and Mr. Alberto, who are going to be making something delicious because this smells amazing. Why don't you let our okay. viewers know? So what we have here this morning uh, at the beginning of the year, the new year, and I want to say Happy New Year to everybody out there. Um, we're starting, as usual, I, usually my, my meals are really quick and short. Mm-hmm for people on the go, and everybody's on the go now. So yes. what we have in this morning is corned beef hash browns. Okay. And that's Grace corned beef hash browns. And, I, and the last show, we, t- we told them about the low-salt corned mm-hmm. beef that came in. So for people that want, uh, um, you know, want to eat corned beef, or people that stays away from corned beef because of the salt, we have the low... Um, another option. Yeah, another option with the low it salt. smells delicious, by the way. <coughs> Has to start and cooking. We yeah, and we haven't even started cooking yeah. yet. So what we do here is uh, mix the corned beef in. And here we have like a pung of um, shredded um, potatoes. Mm-hmm. And what I did with them is uh, shred them and um, wash the starch out. Okay. So you get all that starch out of the potato. And, and it's we, raw. You haven't cooked the potatoes no, it's, yet. No, it's, it's raw potatoes. Okay. So we're going to heat the... And I've been told this is very hot. So yes, we're going to heat that pan out. I'll keep back. <laughs> so we, we, we're, getting the, um, we're getting the corned beef in here. Mm-hmm. What and we have here is some uh, onions. Onions. And that's for flavoring, and that's for people, you know, you put as much onions as, as you want, because some people really go for onions and some don't. Okay, and that's about how, how many potatoes would you say? This is a pound. One a pound. pound. Okay, uh, one sorry. pound. And that's like a, a half of a, a small onion. Okay. And cheese. Mm. And, of course, the same goes for the cheese. It's how many cheese you want in there. Some people, you know, the cheese and is And the a flavor of cheese is, a, is another thing, that's too. That's right. This is what No, what I have to do is get my hand in there. We're going to oh. be putting some garlic with the Malheur garlic powder in here. Okay. It's a little flavor. The reason we're not using any kind of salt mm-hmm. is because of the, the corned beef already carries its... Its own salt. Yeah. And a little... Mal herb black pepper here to spice it up. Okay. In the meanwhile, we put some. Oh, this is very hot. We put we lower the fire here. We put some <laughs> coconut oil. Yes, this is. <laughs> Stand back, everyone. There you go. And about how much oil do you put in the pan? Like a half a cup. Okay. You get your hands in here. Get this all mixed up. Mixed up. up. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I'm not a very good cook. That's why I need measurements or else I'm going to go home and try this and it will not come out the way yours comes out. <laughs> <laughs> it smells so good. I guess it's the, the smell of the corned beef that you, as you're That's and right. the garlic and it smells delicious. And, and we want people to know that um, corned beef is not the only thing that you can use in this potatoes. You can also use tuna. Oh, okay. Yeah, tuna works as well for people who don't like the meat so much. That's or want right. I want different. some fish. Yeah. So there we go, we just get that in there. Mixed in. And what we do here is just put it together in the balls and then just press down on it. Okay. Like patties. That's right. And we, mo- we just get them nice and brown on both sides. Okay. And you have your... Mm, hear that sizzle. There you go, yeah. Like I said, pretty quick, mm-hmm. easy. About how long would you have to leave it in on, on each side? Okay, maybe a minute or two just to get them all nice and, and brown. And since they're, most of this, everything in here is nothing that needs to really cook, cook through, through per se. Yeah, mm-hmm. there you go. Turn it up a bit. Let me go. Okay. So we, we leave easy. those to brown and we turn it over to uh, style breaker so you could do that coffee. Yes, Thanks, another Sharon. favorite. That looks very nice. Well, good morning, um, everyone, and good morning, viewers. First of all, from the team at Grace Canada Belize Limited, a very happy new year to um, everyone, um, especially our consumers, our very loyal consumers. Um, what I'll be doing today, today is a great day for a, the perfect cup of coffee. So yes, I, what I'll is. be doing is um, mixing a couple cups of um, Grace freeze-dried Colombian coffee. Okay. And I'll tell you, just to start off, um, Freeze-dried coffee is, is a different process. Um, there's two processes, freeze-drying and sprayed, uh, spray-drying. Um, and what you see here, basically, is this is the Grace freeze-dried coffee. And if you see, the granules look so perfect. Uh-huh. And this is done uh, via a 
freeze dried process. Okay. The other okay. coffees are coffees that you can find on the local market. Mm -hmm. um, uh, very um, I instant coffees, and these are done via spray drying. What it does is basically um, the benefit of freeze drying is that it goes through a heating process only twice, okay. while with spray drying, other coffees go five times. Okay. And that really removes some of the, the, the aroma and the flavor from the coffee. So what I'll be doing today is, is mixing um, a couple cups of coffee okay. uh, for us to have. It's still instant uh, though, correct? It's, this is still okay. instant, yeah. It's as close as you can come to um, ground coffee or brewed coffee, okay. right? After brewed coffee, then you have this uh, freeze-dried, and then you have um, the instant spray-dried coffee. Okay, okay. Um, I usually take, you know, a couple spoons. I don't know, you're, you're one spoon, a one spoon person? I'm usually or? one when I use the regular instant coffee. Okay, so good. I'm not sure if I would take it too strong, right. if this is stronger. It is not as strong. Okay. Um, but again, with coffee, it's, it's how you like it. And does know. it have, in terms of caffeine, more caffeine, less caffeine, the same? It has about the same caffeine, but what it's, what it's really good in, and if you can smell the granules, um, the aroma and the, oh, the flavor, yeah. and you can tell me. It smells sweet, too. It smells yes. good. Um, so I use one sugar um, for my coffee. Um, I don't know how much sugar you take. I'll take one of those. Okay, good. <laughs> All right. And I know most people kick off their day with a with a with a cup of coffee. Or um, you you also have evaporated milk. Mo uh, people use evaporated milk, or the grace condensed milk, which is uh, a vegetable based condensed milk, much healthier than a, the animal fat condensed milk. Um, but it's how you like your coffee. Mm -hmm. But today we're going to be doing something a little bit different. I know it's um, sort of the flu season, and and you know, um, so we're going to add some. Benjamin's uh, lemon flavoring to this coffee oh, okay. and you can add other flavors uh, my preference would be vanilla mm -hmm. but um, Trudy told me today you need to try the, the lemon because we had it yesterday at, okay. at, at the office that's interesting so, so I'll lemon, add a, guys, a little bit that would be good Marlene is getting sick right now so let's make sure we right. get just experimenting yes. right. <laughs> but we had this yesterday so it should be good well I was told by Trudy right. <laughs> so but that's that's the that's a great thing with grace and with cooking. Um, it's experimenting. You said you don't you don't you know you're not a cook, but you need to experiment, right? <laughs> so this is yours. Oh, this right. is just very strong coffee. Yeah, cheers. Cheers. <laughs> this is good. Mm -hmm. It's very different, good. but it's good. It's different, and it's again, good. you can adjust the the amount of coffee you put to your coffee mm -hmm. cup. Um, milk, I don't take my um, coffee with milk. Some people just do straight coffee, mm -hmm. no sugar. Mm -hmm. um, but it's how you like your coffee. Yeah. And that's really to, to start off your day. It's you know? really good. To start your morning right. Yes. Right? <laughs> Open your eyes and start your morning right. It is really good. Oh, and we have... Yeah, we're taking them out here. Over here. Thank you. This is delicious. What we do, we put them on paper towels or whatever. Just to drain off them, of it. all drained off. It, see, it's, it's yeah. We move them over. What we have here, which is a make a real good breakfast, is some refried beans. This is the grace refried beans. You have the red and the black mm -hmm. refried beans there. So what we're gonna do here? Show people what. Mm -hmm. And it's it's real nice and crispy. Yes. I like the fact that it, it has perfect. cheese. Perfect. Yes, the cheese must be perfectly melted. And the beans. I love refried beans. So what you have there is um, some uh, hash brown with corned beef. Yes. And like I said, you could also do uh, tuna mm -hmm. and make a great lunch or a great breakfast. Yes, it looks delicious. So another easy recipe for people to try and... Um, something more to do with the corned beef. Exactly, and look at that. It, you have your breakfast, you have your coffee, and it took less than 20 minutes. To have it all ready. <laughs> yes. Well, thank you so much. Thank you guys for being here and for sharing this with us. And if you can remind everyone where they can find these products. Well, basically, Grace products is all over. Okay. Uh, most supermarket will carry these stuff. Okay. And, and if it's not there, then they should call Grace and <laughs> say, put those stuff on the, well, on the shelf and, thing. And, and you can find a list of all our recipes at gracecanadabelize.com. Okay. Um, what we've done recently is also, if you click on specific products or categories, 
it will take you to a list of recipes that, for instance, include grease corned beef. So it's easy for you to come up with ideas using that specific product. Okay. Um, but, you know, feel free to go, you know, consumers can feel free to go to our website, gracekennedybelize.com. And there's hundreds of recipes, which we've done on this show. You can get the recipes, download them, or you can also um, look at the, the um, Grace and You Cooking Show videos. This one should be up later on today or tomorrow. So, you know, you, you can follow right through. You can follow Sharon and today myself um, to make that great <laughs> yes. cup of grace yeah. uh, freeze-dried coffee. We're looking, looking forward for another great year of recipes. Yes, so are we and so are our viewers at home, I'm sure. So thank you both very much for being here. Thank you, too. Thank you for the coffee. I'm going to steal this. <laughs> and we will be right back after this break. <laughs> 